Hey, what's up, Gomez gang? Today we are talking about question two on an intervention worksheet. This one is specifically catering to those who need help writing inequalities that match a word problem. You want to rent a limousine for a trip to the city. The limo costs $700 for the night and 15 cents per mile. I have a budget of $750 to spend. It's asking you to write and solve an inequality that represents the situation. Again, my goal is to find the number of miles that this limo can travel without going over my $750 budget. Great, so I know that I have a $750 budget. I cannot go over that amount. So whatever's on this side of my inequality, this must represent the total cost to rent and drive. Right, because there's a couple different ways that my cost is getting calculated. But whatever the total cost is, it cannot be greater than 750. It could be equal to 750, but it cannot be greater than, which is why we have this inequality where the left side can be at most $750. Now, great, how do I find that cost? Well, it cost me $700 to rent for the night. $700, great, that means that I have about $50 to play around with in terms of mileage. Now, again, my question is asking me for my number of miles. That is going to be my variable. M is going to represent my number of miles. But I can't just add 700 plus M because then that would mean that M is less than or equal to 50. And I know that that's not what I'm looking for. I can travel a lot more than 50 miles because it does not cost me a dollar per mile. It costs me 15 cents. So in fact, I need to use 0.15 M, where 0.15 represents the cost per mile, and M represents the number of miles. Therefore, 0.15 M is the total cost for mileage. Now, before I even try to solve, which is what I'm trying to get you guys to avoid, I need to make sure that my inequality makes sense. If I rent this limousine for $700 and it costs 15 cents per mile, can I go over the 750? You know I can't, so it must be at most $750. Now just reasonably speaking, because we know that we saw some difficulties in our intervention worksheet earlier. If it's $0.15 or 15 cents per mile, then for 10 miles, it would cost me a dollar and fifty cents. Now again, I have about fifty dollars to play around with. I have a lot more to go. Therefore, if I had a hundred miles, it would cost me fifteen dollars. Again, I'm not even a third of the way there of how much money I have left to play with. I can multiply this number by three, and it will cost me forty-five dollars if I wanted to go three hundred miles. Now I'm very close to that fifty number, so just reasonably speaking, I know my answer must be larger than 300. At this point, we can solve and know a reasonable answer. If I subtract 700 from both sides, we have 0.15m is less than or equal to 50. At this point, it's just dividing by 0.15, which will leave you with m is less than or equal to, when you do the math, 333 and one third miles. When I travel 333 and one-third miles, that is going to cost me $50. When you add that to the $700 it costs, the flat fee of renting the limousine, then that means that it's $750. I cannot go over that 333 and one-third mile limit because then I will not have enough money in my budget. That's how you write and solve an inequality. This is the written form. This would be the solution, again, there's a range of possible answers. I can go one mile and still be able to afford it. I can go 100 miles to be able to afford it. 300, 320, 330, 333. But the second I go over 333 and one third miles, my answer will not work. Thanks for watching.